I'd like to talk about how to collect software quality and cost data. And unfortunately, some companies don't begin to collect data until the software is delivered, which is too late. Other companies don't begin to collect data until testing starts, which is also too late, because the number of bugs or defects in requirements and design is larger than the number of defects in the source code. So if you do not begin to collect data on either cost or quality until testing begins, you really measured less than half of your total defect potentials, and you've measured less than half of the cost of eliminating them. The sophisticated companies like IBM <clears throat> have full life cycle quality measurement programs that start during requirements and measure both the defects and the costs of requirements inspections, the defects found and the costs of design inspections, <clears throat> the defects found and the costs of code inspections or static analysis, and then the defects found in the cost of every kind of testing. And some of these big companies do as many as a dozen kinds of testing. Unit tests, new function tests, regression tests, performance tests, security tests, um, component tests, system tests, acceptance tests, beta tests, and a few even more specialized kinds of testing as well. But you need to know how many bugs and the cost of each of those kinds of testing. And then when the software is delivered, they continue to measure both the costs and the number of defects that are found by customers. And so if you really want to improve quality, and everybody should, you need to know the total number of defects from each origin, i.e. requirements, design, code, and so forth. And you need to know both the efficiency of every form of defect removal, such as inspections and static analysis and testing. And then you need to know the costs of post-release maintenance. So when you gather up and aggregate all of those costs, pre-release defect removal and post-release defect removal, you find that the best combination of inspection, static analysis, and test stages have substantially lower costs and greatly reduced maintenance costs. But you have to measure the entire life cycle in order to prove that to your own company.